The overall goal of this procedure is to integrate transgenic extrachromosomal arrays into Sanorhabditis elegans genome using ultraviolet irradiation. First, select the transgenic line with the highest transmission rate possible, ideally greater than 80%. Then UV irradiate the selected transgenic L4 larvae. Single out four of the fluorescent transgenic F2 animals from each selected F1 plate. Next, screen the F2 plates for 100% fluorescent transgenic F3 worms. Ultimately, picking eight fluorescent animals of the F3 generation can show the 100% inheritance of the transgene. This experimental approach is well suited for transgenic lines that transmit extra chromosomal arrays at a high rate. Demonstrating the procedure will be Stephanie Belmont, a technician from our laboratory. Start with 500 large petri dishes containing nematode growth medium. Seed each plate with 0.3 milliliters of saturated Escherichia coli OP50 culture. Evaluate the transmission rate of the transgenic line to be integrated. For each transgenic line, pick 10 fluorescent gravid adults onto 10 separate culture plates under a fluorescent stereoscope. Culture the animals in a worm incubator set at a temperature permissive to reproduction of the genetic background. Monitor the progeny each day to evaluate which developmental stage the co-injection marker is expressed and can be best observed. Using fluorescent stereoscopy, Evaluate the transmission rate of the progeny by determining the percentage of fluorescent progeny.